Hello, Jason from 24-7 Tech again here with another video installment on our courses. This particular training video has to do with navigating unsafe sites with pop-ups, pop-unders, spyware, possible viruses. We'll be able to navigate it successfully and not infect our machine if you know what to do. This also happens to be the site that I do all my TV and movie watching that I need to catch up on and stuff. So you're going to probably enjoy those features too. So let's get started. If you go to Google, you'll be able to find this site through Google search. Uh, the servers are constantly changing, so an exact address can sometimes be hard to find. But the, just Google Project Free TV. We'll try the first one. It'll probably give us a redirect. Yes, this is just an ad. You click here and it'll redirect you to the server, which is free TV video online.me. They have TV shows or movies. And right away I'll tell you don't click any ads, sponsored ads like these or these. Just go into what you're looking for. Let's say TV shows, we'll look at that. When TV shows load, you have options A through Z and of course pound for number. Within the last 24 hours, the shows that have been shown last three days, seven days, this month, 90 days, whatever. Let's say I want to watch uh, Game of Thrones. I select G for game and immediately you see this blastro.com pop-up. So we're going to close that. Now that we're in the G's, I'm going to come down here to Game of Thrones. When I click that, a couple more ads, don't click those obviously, gives me a preview of the DVD cover or posters, a description, and the different seasons. Now let's say I select season four. Scroll down and what I'll do is if I'm looking for the latest episode you scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see the latest episode available is season four episode four, The Oath Keeper. Now what these are are listings of each of the servers that are hosting that show. So over here they have ratings. 71% said it worked, 72 said it worked, and so on. So you kind of want to pay attention to that to make sure it's like this one is 100%. Make sure it's up and running. Then you can look at the loading time. Is it fast one? Here's an average speed, um, and so on. The best thing to do is try to choose the fastest ones you can. So the actual show isn't on this site. It's on servers being hosted. They'll tell you when it was submitted and so on. So I'm going to click this one. It's going to go to load. You'll see there's all these pop-ups. Immediately the pop-ups you want to get rid of. This one's just a welcoming one if you want to register. You don't need to register. These two in the bottom, you want to immediately close these because they will play audio while you're trying to watch your show. Now each server is a little bit different as far as how you have to navigate the ads but in this one you just click here under close ad and watch as a free user this pop-up pops up I don't click anything but to close it now sometimes things will pop up and it goes under what you're watching and you don't really see it you have to pay attention down here if it looks like multiple windows are open in your Google Chrome you know that you have a pop under not a pop up and a pop under is pretty much the same as a pop up except for you can't see it so you have to click down here let it show the second window and then close it from the little preview window it'll show or you can click it like this and it'll still it'll be loaded here there's a couple of different ways you can minimize it you can restore this either which way however you need to get to the pop under you need to close the pop under one other quick note if you have a bunch of pop-ups and you can't close them out or one of the pop-ups wants you to install something and no matter what you do to exit it it won't let you out what you have to do is you have to hit control alt and delete all hold down control hold down alt and then hold down delete and it'll bring up your task manager your task manager loads you can go right in here under processes and you can see that I've got Google Chrome running I can maximize or expand that and right here, watch Daddy Yankees featuring blah, blah, blah. That's the pop-up. This one here is the show I want to watch. So on the pop-up, I can just hit end task, and it closes out. See, I didn't hit the other one to end because that's the one I'm using. So if you have trouble closing out of pop-ups or pop-unders, 
because they won't let you out of the screen or something, just go to your task manager by hitting Control Alt Delete. The way that this site is able to give away all this free streamed videos is that they make money off all these ads. So don't click the ads and when you go to submit to play this it may give me another pop up or pop under like it did previously. So I'm going to hit play. Now what it'll do is it's going to run slow because I'm in my uh, virtual machine but it'll buffer and then it'll load so usually I like to go full screen and right when it starts to play I'll pause it because then it'll cache or fill in the buffer start downloading the parts that I haven't watched yet while before it actually plays so you got a little bit right here and then I'll hit play once it's completely buffered so depending upon your internet speed is how long it'll take now if it just freezes up doesn't play well gets hung up or anything like that you can always close this out go back to this and you can rate it with a thumb up or a thumb down and that'll help let other people know how it's doing so that's how you navigate a site that has a lot of pop-ups pop unders sometimes spyware and viruses of course before you go trying to uh, whittle your way through some of this stuff you want to make sure that your antivirus is up to date and you scanned and cleaned your machine of any possible spyware or viruses um, you want to make sure your firewall is enabled and uh, you can enjoy all this free videos whether they're movies or television uh, with just a little bit of knowledge on how to navigate it correctly now I'm not saying that this site is legal legit um, right or wrong that's not my decision I'm just using it as an example on how to go through sites that are loaded with um, alternative ways to generate revenue for themselves which is usually spyware pop-ups ads and so on pop unders so hope you enjoy this video um, I'm sure you'll see lots of cool shows and uh, if you have any questions submit them down below you have a great day